Last week, we witnessed a tragedy in the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As a result of this, as well as the recent killings of Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery and others, many people across our nation and in our union are in a state of turmoil. Thousands, including law enforcement officials, are appalled by the actions of the individuals who failed to serve and protect their communities. The anguish and pain is evident by the protests in 140 cities. As Seventh-day Adventist Christians, we rise with all who condemn these actions, and we too call for justice. We also acknowledge the other grim headlines gripping our nation. More than 100,000 people have died from the coronavirus pa pandemic, and 40 million are unemployed. Our hearts are with those who have been impacted and mourn loved ones. As a Columbia Union Conference family, let us band together and pray for healing, forgiveness, and peace, for an end to the attacks from the enemy, and a stop to the violence and the virus. May we heed the call of Micah 6.8. He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And is it not an additional sign that we are living in a time just before the return of Jesus Christ? Let us be vigilant and caring and love one another as we prepare our own hearts to meet our Savior face to face. Today, as a Columbia Union President's Council, we voted the following, to hold a special union-wide day of prayer this Sabbath, June 6, for our nation, our union, and those who have lost loved ones, the families of George Floyd and so many others, and the disruption and despair many people are experiencing. Please join us. Secondly, to set up a task force to recommend ways our church family can facilitate dialogue, create understanding, and address the systemic issues of racism in our church and communities. Share your ideas with us at taskforce at columbiaunion.net. And finally, we urge our pastors and members to reach out to neighbors and community leaders to create relationships, engage in dialogue that builds bridges and promotes peace.